Well, it looks like I very much am going to make a video about this thing. Hello, and welcome back to another video. Uh, this time we have, uh, Questionable Electronics, uh, Vintage Edition. <laughs> uh, what is this? Uh, it's a, uh, as seen on TV, Touch and Glow. Touch light control, convert any lamp to a touch lamp. This packaging is actually in pretty good condition for being... God knows how old this is. Uh, do we have a... It says pen. Uh, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, you screw this into a lamp, and then you put the thing in here, and uh has this little tongue thing. It did not rattle like this about uh, 30 minutes ago. Uh, this incident just happened, and uh, it senses the capacitance on this uh, little tongue here. And uh, it switches the lamp uh, using a triac. Uh, you know, this uh, worked when I first got it. I, there's a lamp upstairs. Uh, I tried this in. This this worked. Uh, even sort of worked with the uh, LEDs. So, but then I remembered. I have this. Yes. Wait, is it unplugged? Yes, it's unplugged. <laughs> uh, now, uh... So I took this, uh, because of this tongue, actually. It doesn't... Uh, here's a, another Edison, uh, socket, uh, from, a a, 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 a lamp from a returned merchandise vendor, uh, because this thing's so cheap and nasty that, uh, the person who, uh, gets, who's paid to, uh, flip the, uh, this a little tongue down, a uh, little contact down, uh, clearly isn't being paid enough, because, uh, this wasn't, co <laughs> was not, uh, bent down, and, uh, yeah, the previous owner, uh, the, the, the sw inline switch detonated, <laughs> and I imagine quite forcefully, because it was soot everywhere, and, uh, clearly they, uh, they rightfully, uh, had it returned, so, uh, yeah, I had to bend that down, but, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, this is kind of a bit of a mediocre design, because, I mean, with this tongue, it means I can't really, you know, fit in. But then, remember, I have this. I decide, let's use it with this. So I, I took this, and I started screwing this in. Uh, evidently, the power on this thing was on. I... No, it's the sticker. I went. Mm, I should. Uh, I should point note, take note at that when I uh, make a video demonstrating this thing. I don't think this thing's being de demonstrated anytime soon. So I was screwing this in, and then uh, uh, some Crackle Pony Master charging started to happen, uh, and there was some uh, nice electrical arcing and stuff. I think I even saw some weird flashing on the inside of this. Of this. Uh, so I kind of, kind of. My subconscious kind of took the wheel, and I was like, uh, okay, let's unscrew it. And then it just kind of arced more. And so I, uh, finally got my, uh, finally got smart and went, all right, let's just stop fooling around, unplug the lamp, sh uh, pull, uh, that I, for some reason, do not have the, uh, shade for anymore. And, uh, so I, <laughs> so I then, uh, unscrewed this, and, uh, Yeah. <laughs> if you look into here, it was arcing to that little uh, middle contact. Let, let me go get my uh, one of my three-way bulbs. Basically, the way a three-way bulb works is that there's a uh, well three con uh, contacts uh, uh, on it, uh, and uh, the old incandescents. It was basically just a, a filament with a center tap on it. And, uh, it uh, switches between the two and activates them. I think what happened here is... That other lamp is three-way too, but this one, uh... Just different enough... Where we, uh, let the magic smoke out. Uh... Uh, and this, this very much feels much more like a, uh, design problem, non, non-age problem, so, uh, 
if you're uh, if you're getting one of these, uh, maybe leave it on the shelf. Don't don't use it. Just yeah. The good news, in good news, this thing survived. Uh, bad news is uh, I've seen inside this thing and uh, uh for a bit of context uh. Galvanically and non-galvanically isolated, uh, something like a LED light bulb is not going to be galvanically isolated. It's, uh, which means everything's pretty much, uh, electrically connected to the mains, not isolated by some sort of transformer. But for, like, a light bulb, that's fine, uh, because, well, there's nothing out here to touch that's electrically connected, connected, except for the, uh, the base, which is fine because, you know, when it's screwed in, you can't touch, and, uh, energized, you can't touch it. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can take the globe off, but, I mean, that's more of a, a user, uh, thing. Uh, uh, but for stuff like phone charges and, uh, little, uh, uh, you know, fatty gizmos that, uh, turn lamps into touch lamps, uh, where there's gonna be electrical things, uh, electrical connections that someone can touch, uh, you very much, you very much want to be ha having it be galvanically isolated from the mains, uh, uh, this is not galvanically isolated, uh, First off, uh, we're just going to assume that the arcing and me taking this apart somehow destroyed the fuse. We're going to give them the benefit and the doubt and uh, assume there's, there's some sort of fusing going on here. Because uh, I... I mean, I didn't see a fuse when taking this apart. Uh, I didn't notice one, nor did I... Uh, no, or do I see one on the board? But we're just gonna say that it's fused. Uh, gonna assume that. Uh, so live comes in. It goes to the, the diode, to the this is kind of finicky, to the. Uh, Is this the one we just spoke about? Goes through both of the uh, 223, uh, 22 kilo ohm resistors in parallel. So that will be, uh, there's going to be two of them for uh, heat dissipation and stuff. Uh, so 11,000 uh, ohms into our B plus capacitor and uh, then we have a ground plane and voltage rail and uh, that's not galvanically isolated guy la ladies uh, that that and guys and NB that no 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 uh, uh, okay what about the little tongue thing well that goes here uh, and we have this uh, nice uh, uh, 1000 picofarad capacitor at 1 kilovolts that uh, does very much does not look like a safety capacitor to me uh, I, I mean I'm kind of idiotic myself but uh, I can tell when us uh, I like to imagine I can tell when the capacitor is not a uh, not the thing, uh, so I very much doubt that would, uh, fail, uh, open, fail, uh, by, uh, opening itself, going open, I, I, that, that'll probably just short if it fails, uh, which, you know, mains directly connected to the mains, not good, and then that goes, I'm actually having a little trouble, because I'm, like, videoing and stuff at the same time. Resist it, and then, 
yeah, yeah, this, this is not galvanic. Is it fine? Yeah, probably, but... Uh... Honestly, I'm way more scared of, uh, mains than I am of the anode cap of a CRT, because, uh, the anode cap of a CRT, uh, I don't know about when it's running, but, uh, it'll, uh, I, I've been zapped by that, uh, when it was off, when they were off, with the television off, and, uh, not fun, uh, gives you quite a bit of, of a bite, I've also been bitten by, a. Uh, uh, camera flash capacitors, uh, those give you one hell of a bite, but, uh, mains does not hold back, so, yeah, I, mm, uh, I do not like this, I do not like this at all.